Hello, I'm Michael Siegert, and this is When Phones Were Fought. I bet you never knew he talked with a 50s New York accent, did you? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is my overview video of the Galaxy S23 series, which I just got to experience today. Just for the record, I did have permission for this. I've asked multiple people this time to make sure I didn't have to take it down, and that will not happen this time. I have explicit permission, so let's go. But speaking of fun phones, this phone actually is very fun to use. In my very limited experience, aka about 45 minutes, it was a joy to use, and it was just overall smooth. Like it was a really good, solid experience, and I didn't have, I didn't have anything go wrong. It, was, it went really well. The best words I can think of to describe these phones is well-rounded and powerhouse. Uh, I mostly played with the S23 Ultra because that's what mostly everyone wants to see. Although I may take some comments from this video and do some regular S23 and S23 Plus content, just if, if anybody is interested during, you know, setup and shooting the video I shot and all that stuff. Um, I'm very, very impressed and I'm, act I'm not a Samsung guy. But usually Samsung's problems for me are inefficiency, and it always feels rough around the edges to me. Somehow the cohesiveness of this phone really, really came together and it works really well. I have a couple theories as to why, but let's get into the video first. So I know you guys know by now, but uh, I gotta make some video with the new S23 Ultra, which is what I'm holding right now. Um, as usual, let me know how it looks, let me know how it sounds. Uh, it's kind of windy day today, uh, not too bad. Got the sun out, doing really good there, actually. Um, we're gonna flip it around here in just a second. We're gonna try some 8K, we're gonna try some 4K. Um, we're gonna try some different qualities, see what it looks like. Uh, we are also gonna try some stabilization mode. I may just, you know, <laughs> run down the way, get out of breath, see what it looks like. But um, it, it looks really good to me. I love that I'm shooting 4K and 60 frames per second right now because obviously the Pixel doesn't do that. Um, and iPhone doesn't even do that unless it's high efficiency which I never trust. And I'm hoping this will come through, especially on YouTube, but this is so smooth. It is uh, UHD 60 frames per second. Looks really good from here. You can zoom. Ooh, that looks really good. Let's see what else we can zoom in on here. Zoom is that on, I forget what that is. I just started uh, at this location. All right, so it gets a little watercolory. <laughs> Again, this is pre-release software. It's just on the demo unit. This is the ultra wide. Um, so, you know, actually, correction, that is not ultra wide, that's the regular 1X, but the, uh, the autofocus is really, really good. Hopefully Google can pick up, you know, something similar to this. Uh, I'd love to see that. But yeah, the zoom is looking really good. I mean, it goes very far, but obviously it does get kind of watercolory. Um, I don't have a moon to zoom in on, like the commercials, but, uh, let's see if I can find something else here. Let's try the sun, see what we get. Oh, that's, oh, that's not bad. That's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. So, yeah, the 200 megapixel sensor is definitely doing a lot of the heavy lifting here, um, as well as that made for Galaxy processor. Looks really good. Hopefully, uh, maybe Tensor 2, or uh, I guess Tensor would be G3 at this point, whatever's in the Pixel 8. Hopefully, Google can maybe step that up just a tad so we can get, you know, 60 frames per second with, with speech enhancement. Um, I know Samsung has their own version of speech enhancement. I'm not particularly testing that out because I'm not in front of the camera, but um, let me know how it sounds. Again, I'm not gonna see this until I edit it, which you're seeing on a screen and I've already seen it. <laughs> so inception there. But uh, yeah, it looks really good. I'm very impressed. Um, if I'm going ba just based off the camera, I'd say buy it. I mean, <laughs> this thing just got set up. It's connected to the internet. It's downloading apps, all that at the same time. It hasn't skipped a beat. So whatever uh, Snapdragon did, Bravo, <laughs> good job. It looks really, really good and feels snappy AF. So as you can see in a lot of that footage, it's very clear, it's very consistent, no dropped frames, uh, no you know varying colors, no like uh, like blotting out the sun, none of that nonsense. It looks really, really good. And during that, it was connected to Wi-Fi and I had just set up the phone, which means it was still doing all its app downloads. So not only did it take great video, but it also did it while it was setting up 
other things on the device. Usually when the device is like overheating and if, any, if it's gonna ever lose frames or, or struggle, it's then. Part of this was even shooting 8K footage, which I was very impressed by. Um, I can't tell the difference. <laughs> it looks like any other video on the phone. Um, and I, probably you won't be able to tell the difference either because this is on YouTube and it's gonna compress it. But it looked really good. And aside from not really having any zoom control and stuff like that, just because it's processing so much data that you don't have any fancy bells and whistles on this, there's basically a 1X and like a 3X or something like that. You could tap and it would automatically go between both. All right, this ladies and gentlemen is the flagship. You can't zoom, you can't do anything else, but it's shooting 8K 30 frames per second right now. Let me see how it kind of gets the sun here. Ooh, so much more specific actually, that looks very cinematic. Like imagine this is like a desert shot and it plays like the desert music, you're going down. And then you see, ooh, nice autofocus too, wow. I'm very impressed actually. I might have to pick one of these up. Besides that, it looked really, really good. The frames were consistent. Um, it never overheated, it never stuttered, it never anything like that. And I think that has to do with the Snapdragon made for Galaxy. I didn't know this was going to be a thing. I don't know if anybody did. I actually have been super crazy busy the last few months and haven't kept up anything in tech at all. <laughs> very, very little did I know about this phone. So without, I mean, I saw it a couple days ago on Twitter, but besides that, I didn't know anything about the specifically made Snapdragon processor made for Galaxy in partnership. But clearly, whatever they did made a difference because it is excellent paired with 12 gigs of RAM or whatever RAM they put in, in this one is either eight or 12 gigs. Um, and this is a demo model, so I'm actually not sure what it's shooting, but probably eight gigs, if, if I'm gonna guess. If the rest of the experience of the phone is as smooth as the way it feels in the hand, uh, the very subtle flattened edges, which makes it so much more palatable to use and carry around and not feel like you're gonna drop it or it's gonna like slip out of your finger or poke a hole through your pocket, combined with the power of the new processor and the RAM and the smoothness of the new One UI, this is gonna be a really great device. And actually, I would upgrade from the S22 Ultra to this one. If I was a Galaxy person, I would be upgrading because the experience on this one was very cohesive, very smooth, and it was very comforting, actually. <laughs> I know it's probably a strange way to describe a phone. Great build quality, great colors, and great processing. This is gonna be a powerhouse, so enjoy. Once again, this is shooting in 4K 60 frames per second on the front. Uh, apologies for that truck. <laughs> uh, I thought it was passed and apparently it's not. Um, but it's actually a really good test because on the Pixel, I thought it was going to drown me out and it actually ended up being really, really good because of the voice enhancement. I know Samsung doesn't have the same kind of voice enhancement, but they kind of have a similar uh, idea. They've got a similar feature. So let me know how that sounds in the comments. Good, bad, would you prefer the Pixel footage? That's why I added, included it. I don't have an iPhone to compare right now, um, but maybe I, could use, <laughs> maybe I could use another demo. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think this looks really good. This is great for vlogging. And uh, I think, I have a feeling that the battery is gonna be a champ on this. Um, it just, it feels really, really solid and it doesn't feel like it's heating up the phone. It doesn't feel like it's, you know, like just obliterating the battery life when usually during a phone setup, which is actually what it's doing right now in the background, it does, it heats up, it slows down, it gets glitchy, that kind of thing. So um, yeah, it looks really good so far. Uh, let me know what you think, and because uh, I will read those comments. And uh, if you want cheaper service, use my Mint Mobile link. If you want this phone for 200 bucks, use my AT&T link. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you on the next one.